like 10 levels in Halo 1. And of those, like this game, you know, being heralded as the classic uh, that revitalized the first person shooter genre, people tend to overlook a lot of things. And as such, I think that of the 10 levels in this game, only I'd say five or so are good. And we're gonna be, we're gonna be going into a long haul of ones that are not good. Can I get back in? No, not this time. Now, aesthetically, this level uh, is very cool. It takes place in this weird kind of creepy swamp. You know, we got a crash pelican over here. What the hell is that doing? Bunch of weapons and old oh, picked up 420 assault rifle rounds. Those guys just died. That's weird. But ultimately, uh, this level is gonna take a sharp. Sharp turn downhill, and I don't really want to want to have to deal with that. But in the meantime, let's just kind of cut our losses and head straight into the fray. I've had a very busy weekend. Let me tell you about that. Uh, a lot of shit going on, including DMing last night for seven people, which is terrifying and hectic and fun at the same time. We had a good time, uh, but trying to keep track of. You notice how I have yellow yellow blips on my radar there? What was that all about? Um, Trying to DM for seven people, trying to keep track of that many people, especially some that have played and have not played. It's it's a bit of a intimidating thing to do, especially when I don't really have much material for them prepared. So I had the people running the campaign and having my brothers and my father play, which got even weirder when my brother showed up and I'm like, all right, well you're gonna have to do the same stuff you've done already before, just to pretend you're a different character. To his credit, he did. Don't get in that. Oh wait. Oh. Hmm. Am I supposed to see you yet? No, I'm not because the fog is supposed to be so great that I can't see you. Well, spoiler alert, <laughs> that's happening. So here's the thing, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you as if you've never played Halo or have any idea what Halo is. But, uh, well, those yellow blips on the map, they belong to things that... Well, it's a bit of a spoiler of their even existence and so they're kind of revealed in this level. So we're going to do our best to, to keep the conversation light. Yikes. But, uh, let me tell you, it's... Simultaneously cool and like a talking point where people are like, oh wait, this game has this this thing in it, so that people would talk about it. When in truth, it's kind of like a spoiler. They're even here at all. So it's a weird grounds to talk about. I'm sure if anybody here knows anything about this game or has had any conversation about Halo in any way, shape, or form, it's probably come up at some point. These things. And you know what? I realized that part of the reason why this level is so cool is because I spent so much time out here. But I spend so much time out here because I get lost so frequently that it's a pain in the ass to find my way over here. But now I'm heading inside and, uh, well, I'll say goodbye to the swamp, everybody. Because we're back to corridors, everybody's favorite. You know, at least... Well, that was rude, I was going around to meet you, but sure, I guess you can come up for me. At least this time around, the, uh, the corridors are spooky. Which is pretty damn cool. I, I like it, I will commend the redone visuals, because they do look pretty cool, but this is just kind of terrifying and ominous and creepy, and as much as it is samey, it's it's claustrophobic in a way. Impressive, I'd say is the right word. Oops. Mm -hmm. So yeah, funny thing about the the audio hiccup in the Assault in the Control Room level, which I didn't address, or not Assault, in the, uh, the Silent Cartographer level, which I didn't address in the Assault in the Control Room level because I fixed the problem and then decided not to say anything about it, or maybe I did. I have such a bad time remembering things that it's possible that that all happened and I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I was streaming at Halo 5, just testing out the streaming capabilities with the Elgato, and, uh, I was using the headset mic, just, you know, because it, I wasn't doing anything particularly intensive, just kind of like casual. Speak and play through a big team battle. What do you, what was the glass? What happened there? Oh. Neat. You guys can't hit shit. Hmm. One, two. Come on. Two. Go for a three. That's the stuff. Alright, where's that last guy? Here? Hello? Door's closed. Door's closed. Is he running? Is that him? Well, not anymore. Probably not, actually. Ah! Ugh. DMing is a weird thing to do. Or GMing, game mastering, dungeon mastering. Uh, particularly when... It's not that I have trouble coming up with things on the spot, but... There's always the, le the level of... Fear that the players are not going to do something that you want them to. And then trying to come up with a natural way to get them to do the thing. Ooh, what? Wow, blood? What? A bunch of bodies? Huh? When in truth, like, 
things are going to happen at their own natural pace. You just kind of got to let them, but at the same time, you really want people to do the cool things that maybe you've prepared for them. Also, check this wicked shit out. Uh, this is the only time, aside from uh, a PC-only multiplayer level in Halo 2, that needle rounds appear outside of a needler. Hmm. You don't see that anywhere else. Uh, you maybe see them later in the campaign, I'm not too sure, but uh, as far as I can tell, this and on Uplift in Halo 2. Oh, hey, buddy. Whoa. Mm. Okay, he hit me. What of what things? You'll have to reload eventually. You'll have to reload eventually, dude. Okay, he just reloaded. So this guy can kill you. He can't see me, technically. That's ominous. I wonder why that guy's so crazy. Whoa, a big green tank full of mist. What could it possibly have? Oh, whoops. Huh. I wonder if this was holding anything important. Glass? Shit, this went crazy all real health luck. What happened here? Marines certainly didn't do this. They can't do jack shit. Have you seen them? What could have possibly caused all this? Um, if you leave and come back, this guy I think will be dead, though I don't know how true that is. Uh, I think the implication is that he shoots himself, but I don't... Again, I can't confirm or deny. Bink. Easy. See? He's just walking on light. Jump over this light thing. Great. Assault rifle? Don't need it. Actually, probably actually gonna need it. Yeah. Okay, that guy's ground. Do I want to be up or down? I'm not- Whoop. Never mind. That gets down is the way I'm supposed to go. Make no mistake, he's not shaking because he's nervous, he's shaking because the graphical upgrades have rendered him very jittery. And also his assault rifle had just uh, clipped through his armor there, that's perfectly fine. He's dead, just, just put him down, just put him down. Not respectfully, at least. Is that human blood? I think this is like the longest cutscene of the game, and actually. So this what music is you called Flip Music. Stuff, Watch your mouth, I, I think it's from another Bungie game as well. Um, but apparently Bungie wanted to license Painted Black by the Rolling Stones for this scene. better it than us. You ask him. Nice next time you see him, Miss Cynthia. I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. LZ looks clear. I'm bringing us down. Go, go, go! Another fun fact that line, that go, 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 when reversed, is the elite uh, wart, wart, wart battle cry. True fact. Yeah, didn't hear it from me, though. Stay close, oh, dude, a first person shooter within a first person shooter. I love it. It's like the Doom movie. Move it up! Wait here for the captain and his squad, then get your ass inside. Now, I wonder... In 2017, okay, we have GoPros that render out, like, full high-definition 1080p 60 frames per second video. And then 500 years in the future, these guys are running around with helmet cams that put out, like, really green, filtered, grainy, static bullshit. Which is weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the insides. There. Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. 
Maybe there was an accident. You know, friendly fire or something? What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? Nah, we just met. So for some reason, Keys is here. I think the the conversation was there's some sort of a weapons cache they're looking for. But it's not right, a weapons well, cache. It's a problems no, cache. But it looks like he's coming <laughs> up with pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. So, they were pretty hard to lock it down, but you put the thing on there and it opens fine. Also, where did that thing go when the door opened? When it got, like, sheared off? Also, how does that interface with this technology? I don't- I don't get that, but whatever, man. You're in charge of the video game. I got a bad feeling about this. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about Captain something. Sark. What's going on, soldier? He's got contact! Corporal, do you copy? Over. Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge. order. Sarge, listen. What is that? Where's that coming from, Everywhere. Mendoza? I don't. There! Get up! So, think about this in that you see them breaking through the door and your first instinct is to look away from that. Also, Keys is just kind of like looking at whatever. Sergeant, we're surrounded. I don't understand this at all. There are too many, sorry. Don't even think about it, Marine. Oh, Get back here, Marine. That's an order. What a gripping drama. And now it's back to us. Can we do what seven people couldn't? Probably not, but hey, listen. I'm a... Uh, I'm no expert here, but I have a feeling that this is going to work out pretty alright. Except no, because you see this? This is the least favorite thing I, I can possibly think of in video games. It's the fight waves of enemies in an arena. Yeah. So what we're going to do here, even though I didn't take very long to get down this far into this, this uh, subterranean complex, but we're going to have to fight our way out, which unfortunately means we have to fight our way through waves of enemies before doors open up, or, or open up for us, which is, you know, great. Though, the flood is fun because... Oh, this is the flood, by the way. Hey, look at them, they like popcorn. Little popcorn shrimps. It's fun because you shoot one of them and they kind of have this chain reaction effect. So in reality, it's all about trying to get the biggest like bunch of a cluster of them you can than trying to pop them all at once. We can do better. Come on, group up. Get close. I want you all in a nice little cluster. Not quite. That one's not bad either. And they just kind of keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. You don't have to waste very much ammo on him, but uh, boy, howdy. This is a really engaging fight. Please die. Get out of here. This is also, I think, the only Halo game that is conducive to try and melee them. So, uh, maybe I just got lucky there and I'm not sure that is at all. Oh, I wonder if I could stick one. Oh, I got one! Oh, but he got too close to me, and that makes me a target. See, the problem with these guys now is that my shields are down, they can do extra damage, and I think it only take six of them to kill me. So... Oh, that means the door's open, though. Sorry, guys, I can stick around. It's ramp right. Oh, good! We're up in the ante where we have actual fighters now. Get out of the way, me pingy. Reload. Oh, I have frags the whole time. Good. They now seem to be more bullet spongy than I remember. Either way, shouldn't be a problem. Whiff. And now my suspicions are correct. 
I'll open the doors close, of course. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this off for no reason other than because I can. What? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is the point of this bridge? What is the point of this bridge? Excuse me. Can you tell me what the point of this bridge is? Can you tell me what the, the point of this is? Oh, it's just another way down. Okay. Ugh. Now, there's a very good chance this could lead to a dead end. So, this looks promising. Let's get door. Whoop. Okay. I don't know. Uh, well, actually, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be heading back or forward, but this looks forward E? Moving followed? No, probably not. Okay, this is a room and a half that looked like it probably would have been a terminal in some instances, but. Ooh, shotgun. Do, 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 do. You can have so many goddamn shotgun rounds in this game. Nice. Mmm. 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 That's technically, if I'm good, 60 direct kills. What is this? Cool. See, I didn't make a move, but he saw me anyway, because... Whoa, nice zero gravity jump, dude. I'm cats and meowing. Quick some spoon. Little boy blue man on the moon. Going home, son. I don't know when. Shoot that corpse again. I, okay, you know what? I'm pretty sure I hit the button here. There we go. Now, to to the credit of Bungie and their level design, whoops, they all just spawned out of existence. That's pretty cool. Um, after Halo 1, the subsequent Halo games don't really do the whole arena thing up until Halo 4, which, again, to give them credit, that's not them. That's uh, 343. Should I try something stupid? Hmm. Yeah, that didn't matter anyway. Wait, we got Marines? Marines? Boys? Good guys. What I was trying to do there was a grenade jump that failed spectacularly, because I uh, failed to account the timing of the grenades in this game. It's different from the other ones. Oh, okay, that was a whiff. I don't know why I did that one. And the problem with Flood is that they can use every race's weapons, human and covenant, which uh, is a bad time if they have a shotgun or a sniper rifle or a grenade launcher, or even a pistol, because uh, that shit does damage. If you don't mind me saying. Okay, that's a hole in the floor. Please, just, I want you all to fall over real quick. I probably should pick up an assault rifle if I can come across one. Just, just jump, just come on. You can climb, I know you can't. I know it took almost 16 years for you to figure out climbing technology, but do it for me, come on. Okay. One of these guys is not a- whoops! Yep, this is embarrassing. One of these guys is not a threat, but a bunch of them, they can do a bit of damage. Now why did I come over here? Who did that? Okay, first of all, it's not a really correct spot for you to be in. Second of all, I'm just going to go ahead and make a move out of here. I feel like I might be going in a circle. Hard to tell, it all looks the same. Surprisingly enough. Uh, but I think it's a door down here, am I right? I am incorrect. Oh, these guys can jump, that's right. They can follow me basically anywhere. I should try to do the flood buddy if I can. Oh, yeah, you. Yay! So this guy, having no arms, can no longer attack in any way, shape, or form. So he will just follow me throughout the level. And this is what we call a Flood Buddy. In Halo 2, and I think Halo 3 as well, uh, doing that to a Flood will cause him to instantly explode, and the little guy in the chest uh, will fall out and try and find another body to reanimate. I'm going in circles, motherfucker, I know I am. And, uh... So the flood body doesn't really work, but there are still ways to do it with uh, with glitches and what have you. I just gotta make sure he doesn't get caught in a crossfire. I'll keep you safe, flood body. Oh jeez, what? Get down! He's, he's trying to sacrifice himself for his comrades. That's true dedication in the field. This door is locked. 
What are you doing down there, buddy? This door is open. Have I got a checkpoint in a while, last little while? Because I feel like the fact that I either have or haven't will indicate if I'm going the right way, but this is embarrassing. I don't know if I am going the right way. Oh, a pile of bodies. A lot of bodies. Whoa. Go this room. Fuck you. The architecture does seem to be relatively different because I don't remember this crate thing being here. Jump. Okay, yeah, great. I would just love to grab a ledge. Or even jump to my fullest potential. And hey. Okay, what is it we got? What do we got? That looks like a door. That looks like a door. Alright, new music and a checkpoint. This is, uh... This is good times. Alright. Who wants to play some best so they can make it across this? Not you, apparently. I let my shields respawn and we're gonna try again. And, once again, I, uh... I... Overestimated the time it takes for that thing to charge. So, whoops, gotta go back and redo that, probably. Where's my way out of here? Anybody see one? Am I now trapped because I wasn't supposed to fall down here? Because if you, uh, if you, if that's true, you have to tell me, otherwise that's entrapment. Yeah, don't see anything that looks like a staircase. Oh, this door's open. Okay, how we doing? Same room? Yep, alright. This is technically the right way, this is good. I say technically when I mean definitely. It's a fun little thing I'm trying to spin here. Whoops! Fuck! Let it not be said that platforming is not the greatest thing in first-person shooters, because it sure isn't. Especially when I don't have feet. When they had a higher budget, they could put feet in. Oh! Think. Now, I don't know how hot a light bridge would technically be. Being that it is a bridge made out of light, but uh, I'm pretty sure instant like a fragmentation grenade probably wouldn't do very well on the top of one. But yep. Hmm. Okay. I got three more. Three more for boys like you. Let's go. No hitchhikers. No ticket. Why are we going up? Yes. Marines. Hi, boys. Okay, the way out. This is good. Okay. Take some of this, take some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about your problems. Let's go. The one other cool thing about this uh, level is that it spawned, or it inspired the, uh, probably one of the, my favorite Halo 2 multiplayer maps, which is Backwash, which is a big swamp-like level with architecture and plants similar to this one. A uh, fun map for the zombie homebrew game type, which you could play in Halo 2. Which is just, it, it's, it's a pretty cool amalgamation of uh, with the classic zombies and a little bit of stealth guerrilla warfare. Some predator shit going on in the mix. Get him! So they said go to a tower. Uh, is it two go. You guys got that? Great. Groovy. Lock it down. Yeah, this looks like a path. I don't need to shoot anything if I got this big goon squad behind me doing it. Whoop! Oh, hello. Stay corrected. Red lights. And there are a bunch of secrets hidden around the, uh, the swamp. There's like active camo and weapons and stuff. A secret pelican somewhere, I think. There's a pelican when I make a pelican. Because I have a pelican and a pelican. This looks like a tower. In. I would imagine. Come on. Now, what do I do here? I think I just fight them all off. Whoa, Sentinels! Yep, and I saved the level. Oh, thank God! Greetings. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spy. Oh. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation. But I require your assistance. Come, 
This way. And just like that, Master Chief was never seen again. Chief, I've lost your signal. Where'd you go? Chief! Chief! So, and who... Who, by, who, 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 perchance, would have, would have heard that, would have intuited that? Anyway, I'll see you next time, because... Because I want to I want to talk about that in detail next time. Boop. So before I get angry about who was listening to the radio, this thing only opens in this cutscene because of a glitch. Because it's not technically supposed to do that. Uh, I don't know if that's actually been fixed in the proper graphics, but anyway, we're in the library, which is the the first and foremost the worst level of Halo One. Anyway, in the last episode, uh, Fohammer is like, Chief, I lost your signal. Where the fuck did you go? But. Uh, but if, okay, that was funny to you, but of course, she's like, where'd you go? But I'm like, if Chief is gone, from what perspective is anybody listening to- Oh, great, the door's closed. From what perspective is anybody possibly listening or hearing this? Certainly not me. Oh, exploders, blow up, thank you. Okay. So, allow me to lay down the basics of why this is the worst Halo level, is that it is- See this environment? See this? This hallway-looking thing? Get used to it, because it's this, over and over again. While fighting nothing but flood over and over again. Oh, and my health's already going down. And this looks like the end for old Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I will give the credit uh, where credit is due. In the remastered graphics, the um, this level is kind of made to resemble the uh, later Arbiter levels in Halo 2, which is aesthetically my favorite part of that game. Uh, that like that, that flood controlled parts of the Halo, uh, the Delta Halo, which is pretty freaking neato. Okay. Oh, you have the shotgun that I desperately need, sir. Sure didn't pick it up though. Would have been nice. Oh, great! Plasma grenade blew it up. Where'd the shotgun go? I don't know. Probably never gonna find it. There it is. Blow up, please. Okay. With this, I have somewhat of a fighting chance. Not a whole lot of ammo for it, but we'll pick it up as we go. Cause, uh, man, these floods sure have a lot of human weapons. You can technically one-shot the Flood with a pistol. They do technically have quote-unquote heads, but uh, a DPS weapon might be what I need uh, long-term. That said, I'm probably not going to have to worry about ammo for any of this stuff, so use it where I can. Uh, oh, that guy has a shotgun that I want. Thank you. Okay, uh, where's the door? Another thing that the that monitor 343 Guilty Spark does is like, alright, just wait here while I go open a door. Well, motherfucker, can you, can you can you open the door now? Nah, you have to fight these enemies of this wave of flood first, and then I'll open the door. I'm like, I guess that's how you have to do it. What's up, my boy? What's good? Uh, up there? I mean, I can dig it, but I don't really want to. <laughs> Well, at least the good news is you can follow the blue light. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I imagine that the skull on this level is probably hidden in one of these things, because I can't really think of a much more deceptive place to hide it. I want you all to uh, keep an ear out. If you hear shotgun sound effects, please let me know. I don't remember which Halo it's introduced in, but uh, with a shotgun, uh, in this one, you can't fire off a shell until you reload the entire the entire chamber. Uh, whereas in the other one, as soon as the shell is in, you can fire if you want to. Uh, and I wonder which one that was introduced in. I don't remember it being in two. Oh boy. Oh, I need that, sir. Thank you. So, you know, that's the good thing about the exploders is you can use them to your advantage to clear out enemies. Oh great, the, the door is sealed. Well, I bet you just have to go do something about that, don't you? Oh, you know, you don't need it. You don't need that, you don't need that arm at all. <laughs> Idiot. Alright, that's two. I wonder how many flood buddies I can get. Let's, because this level is going to be the worst fucking thing in the game, let us make a fun little game out of it by trying to make a, uh, a flood buddy army. Now, homeboy, do I go this way or do I go this way? Excuse me, I'm pretty sure the shotgun's doing pretty goddamn well. Just because I'm not burning every single one to a crisp doesn't mean I'm ineffective. Where did you go? Oh, my flood buddies! Oh, man, well... 
Can't win them all, right guys? Oh, that does break. And that likely looks like it's to the death. Yeah, that's all the way down. Don't walk over that. Just in case. Whoops. Oh, that was both of them. Great. In Halo 3, um, if you shoot the monitor enough when he's on your team, he will shoot you with an eye laser. Uh, I don't know if I can do it in this game because I don't think it's been established that he has an eye laser in the fiction as of right now, but, I mean, it's fun, you can do it, I guess. Guys, please. Oh, what am I stuck on? I'm stuck on a wall. There it goes. So yeah, that's very much... Is this the beginning of the level? Is this the beginning of the level? This is the beginning of the level. Oh no. I'm gonna call it here. I don't really want to have to do that again. We'll see y'all next time. Have fun. Thank you.